Rebecca Chasworth, you're a market strategist at State Street Global Advisors, analyzing stock markets and what has an effect on this. The US presidential election uh, is heating up. We've seen the debate. There are two possible outcomes. Um, would they affect stock markets differently? I think they definitely would. So if we have Hillary Clinton coming into the White House, then I think we have a continuation of what we're seeing in the stock market now. Um, people's forecasts would stay the same. Uh, the sectors that are doing well would continue to do well. I think, however, if we have Trump, because the polls have been foretelling that he won't win at the moment, and because Trump is a bit of an unknown quantity, I think that the market would react badly to that victory. We've seen that reaction in Brexit on 23rd of June. Um, now, there we've seen there was a shock globally, mm -hmm. but then uh, after that a swift recovery. Do you think the same would happen to the markets if uh, Trump became US president? I think that's a very good point. I mean, I can say coming from London, it was a bit of a shock when we woke up on that morning and found out that we were going to be out of Europe and we saw markets fall away quickly. Um, we saw the risk uh, aversion in the market pick up. People um, went to cash, people went to gold, people came out of the equities which they were more worried about. And I think we may well see a similar reaction if Trump were to win. Um, globally, would there be different reactions in, in, in markets? Would there be a different reaction in the US market mm -hmm. if Trump won or do you think it would be globally the same? I think it would be very similar. This is very much a global market, a market that's driven by macroeconomic indicators wherever you are. And I think the US would fall possibly a bit more, but we would follow very quickly within Europe and indeed the rest of the world. Hillary Clinton uh, has a less free market approach to politics and she is a bit more regulatory in her out, uh, outlook. Um, why do the markets trust her nonetheless? Ah, well, I think there's maybe two reasons for that. One, I think we understand Hillary Clinton more. We've seen more of her. We've seen her on the world stage and we understand her policies. Conversely, we don't know Trump. We don't know his policies. So he, would, he is an unknown quantity. And also, interestingly, if you look at stock markets going back 50, 60 years, you will find on average that markets have done much better under Democrats. It's strange to think about that because, they, as you say, they tend to raise taxes and, and increase regulation. But stock markets have done much better on average in the past under Democrats. But there's no real um, scientific reason for that. No, I think it, it's fair to say people do look at those statistics, but it's fair to say that some of it may be chance, may be circumstance. For example, when Bill Clinton was in power uh, under two cycles, he actually benefited from the dot-com bubble and uh, internet stocks rising. So I think we need to, as we would say in English, take it with a pinch of salt. Okay. Now, in the event of a Clinton victory, are there sectors in the stock markets that could suffer more? Mm -hmm. Well, definitely one sector that would suffer under either presidential candidate would be healthcare. And interestingly, so I work in the ETF business and we've seen a lot of money come out of ETFs. So people are taking their money out of healthcare. And this is because they're worried if, if Clinton wins, then she will increase regulation. On, on particularly affecting the large pharmaceutical companies. And uh, also, if Trump wins, he does not like Obamacare and he would dismantle that system. Interestingly, there are sectors such as financials which saw money come out earlier this year but are now seeing money come back in. People think that banks and uh, other financial companies like insurers will do better, whoever is the president.